The physiological shock can happen by multiple causes, and we subdivided them into cardiogenic, neural, obstructive, or hypovolemic. The main symptoms are generally the same, and you should be able to differentiate between them and know the symptoms very quickly. And so we have a mnemonic that helps us memorize the symptoms. Remember the TV spark cube. The patient will be thirsty, and they will have some vomiting and sweating. And these are due to the effect on the autonomic nervous system. Generally, any disturbance that causes great harm to the nervous system will cause these symptoms. The pulse will be weak, as the heart will be under huge stress. The patient will be anxious. The respiration will be shallow and rapid. So the patient will be taking rapid breaths, but each breath will be lower in volume. And this goes back to the anxious part. The more anxious they are, the faster their respiratory rate. They will often be cool to the touch. They might have some cyanosis around their lips and fingers. And this is a bad sign as it indicates that no oxygen is going to the lips or to the cyanotic parts. And they can eventually be unconscious with low blood pressure. And again, this is a very bad sign having low blood pressure and eyes blank. Basically having a stupor state where they don't recognize what you're saying. Use the link below to get access to the full mnemonics course. In this course, we will discuss all the important high yield topics that we see everywhere in the clinical practice. These topics are especially important for healthcare providers. We cover topics like the treatment of acute heart failure, tension pneumothorax, and other